Welcome to this week's episode of Macism TV. I'm Joshua Schnell. I'm Elf. And we've got two iOS apps, game apps, appy games. Lots of fun. Well, yours is fun. Mine's going to work, which makes me kind of sad to be talking about yeah, this. Yeah, well, right. that's pretty accurate, I guess. Josh is sad. <laughs> no, I mean, he's... he's Josh he's, had a terrible sandwich like 20 minutes ago and it's not going so well. Yeah, so let's not barf on L, okay? Yeah, in your then. general direction. All right. Um, my app is actually a... Um, well, like a writing app for your iPad. Cool. So um, it's from Agile Tortoise and it is called Phraseology. Um, I've been using it to write some articles with uh, because I've been writing a longer article on writing on your iPad in general. Um, this one I actually really like, and the reason I want to talk about it is it's got something really cool built in that I haven't noticed in any other writing application. Uh, so when you're writing, right, you hit enter and you go to a new paragraph and it creates like a break. You can actually arrange your paragraphs. So if you're in the editing stage and you want to move this paragraph up or that one down, you can move an entire paragraph by sliding up and down. Cool. The, uh, the app, instead of highlighting the text and copying it mm -hmm. and then going and pasting it. Neat. So it, uh, it gives you the word count, the character count. Um, you can share your writing with, you know, typical things, Twitter, mm -hmm. email. Uh, you can export. Um, the other really cool thing this does is it gives you statistics on your writing, which cool. a lot of apps don't do. Uh, so you get character count, word count, sentence count, um, you know, the reading index level. Uh, I don't know how to say that. Flesh Kincaid? Flesh Kincaid? I don't know. Yeah, that's that F L E C H that gets me. Mm -hmm. um, so I, I've been leaning towards this one. It's not as minimal as some of the other ones, but it the reorganizing thing was huge for me. It still looks really clean, though. It is clean, yeah. yeah. Um, the other thing it does really well is Markdown, which I don't know if you know what that is, mm -hmm. but um, instead of using like HTML to write, you can write a Markdown. It's like a new language okay. for marking up your text. Cool. Um, which is pretty cool. It, uh, it has a sister or brother app called Terminology. We won't talk about that too much, but it's essentially a dictionary, like a lookup okay. application. Cool. Um, really, really handy, especially when you're using them together. Are the, are the apps um, linked with each other at all? or is it um, You know, that is a mighty fine question. I think it is, but I've yet to get it to give me a lookup. Oh, yeah, see, lookup went Neat. to Phraseology. So. Cool. Yep. That's really cool. It's really handy. Yeah, super handy. Um, I mean, it... Obviously, it has Bluetooth support, so you can mm -hmm. use a like, full keyboard if you want. Yeah, that's probably what I would do because I don't yeah. like, I mean, I, I love touchscreen, but as far yeah. as typing, I mean, Oh, I can't do it. I've or? tried typing. It's not for me. There's yeah. no way. Like a little email or something, it's easy, but mm -hmm. a full article, 500 words, 1,000 no. words, not happening. Not going to happen. Um, really great. Um, I like it quite a bit, so. So does it have anything that um, plugs in with WordPress where you can No, so it's not. There's, a, there's another app I'm using called BlogZ. Okay. That I've is that. like a front end, well, not a front end, but like a writing tool that will publish directly to WordPress. So like a uh, Mars edit, but for iOS. Cool. Uh, super handy. Um, maybe I'll talk about that one in a couple of weeks. Mm -hmm. Pretty cool. Neato, man. Yeah. I don't like that case at all. <laughs> oh, man. It's going to be an <laughs> awesome episode when we talk about this case. <laughs> it's just, it's so bulky. It's not bad. And loud. And loud. It is loud. And shitty. <laughs> Don't forget shitty. Hey, talk about how shitty it is. <laughs> All right, it's pretty shitty. Uh, look how you had your turn already. Yeah. yeah. All right, Al, let's get right into your super awesome yet fun, it's, bizarre game. It's the weirdest game I've ever encountered. It's so campy. There's so much happening. <laughs> so and what's it called? It's called Pizza vs. Skeletons. Pizza vs. Skeletons. And the name might... Uh, evoke some emotions or some memories of like Plants vs. Zombies. That's true. That, no, nothing. Not at all. Not at all not like that. Close. It's not a tower defense or anything like that. No. Nope. It's really cool. Um, and I honestly have wondered many times since playing it, what were these writers smoking when Pizza they were... Pizza versus Zombies. So oh, what's the premise of the game? like? So, so uh, basically it's just your standard zombie storyline where right. the dead have risen and oh my god, dun, the whole world's gonna... Um, but this time... 
there is a giant mutant pizza that is like, oh, I'm going to avenge the world and smash all the zombies. Basically, yeah. So yeah. it's really weird. It's such a weird story, but it's so much fun. So you're using uh, both tapping and the accelerometer. So you oh, cool. So it's your favorite type of game where. You're... But actually, it's not bad. Because it's really, really well oh, calibrated. Oh shit! I'm going around the corner again. <laughs> it's really well calibrated, so it's um, like it's not overly sensitive, but cool. it's it's. It's, it responds well to tilting. Um, the only thing that's difficult is if you're laying down and you're tipping. Can you lock it? Uh, I don't know, actually. Because the uh, game like that called, oh, man, as we talked about it, it's like this little orb. Fuck. Not ringing any bells, Luca? It's like the little spirit thing. Oh, uh, shit. It's on here somewhere. I had the same problem, so like, if I was in a different thing, but you yeah. can actually calibrate it so that Wherever your zero point is, mm -hmm. it'll keep that. So if you're laying down, oh, okay, cool. then to go down, really you just tilt idea. it a little further. That's a really good idea. Yeah, so it like, figures out your... Um, That's something yeah. I'm going to look and see if there's anything... Because I found it really there. handy. Because I'm like you, I play a lot of games like on the couch crashing or, yeah. or in yeah. bed or whatever. Yeah. I'm rarely sitting up perfectly straight, you know what I mean? Like, <laughs> I, don't, I, I don't have Perfect posture. posture. I, don't, I don't do that. No. I was not, yeah. you know, I was not born in 1940. I don't, I don't have... I don't have that kind what of What do you discipline. got against people born in 1940? Because they're just all disciplined and shit. Anyway, the point is, this game is really cool. Um, so in the game, you're collecting yeah. coins. Right. Um, so it, not like it, it converts into like in-game money. Okay. Um, and my favorite part of the game is that is the, uh, the way you can customize your pizza. So right. you can buy like different facial features. You can buy like a top hat or a mustache or like wheels or you know something really like is it really, like uh jetpack joyride and that these upgrades do nothing yeah yeah oh, no totally it's but it's it's dumb. but it's fun for like the first couple of times you're playing it and it's just it's 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 entertaining but that's the thing it's so with jetpack joyride it's same thing you're you get paying, a new jetpack you're not paying but real it doesn't money. even help you do anything so okay, who but, gives a shit okay but you're not paying real money for it so who cares if you if you had to like buy these things but can you can you buy in-game money i don't know probably i imagine <sighs> you can and if you can't i'm sure that will come but, Why can't uh, they just give these things like superpowers? Like, okay, you because it's a fucking mutant pizza. What else do you want from it? I don't it? know, like super slow mo, or you get something and it does something. Whatever happened to that in video games? <laughs> I got a new sword. It shoots lightning bolts now. Because <laughs> that's lame. Joshua. It's just not a cool looking new sword. That's really lame. No, it's awesome. No. Am, I, am I right? No. Am I wrong? No. So the game is set up. It's got. <laughs> you just cut me off. <laughs> Keep it on rolling. You're you're like me in the, my first podcast with Brennan. I was just going off on a million yeah. different tangents, and now you're doing it. And I'm sorry. I'm trying to be on. Key. Okay, let's keep it going then. So so the levels are set up. There's a hundred there's a hundred levels, right. and they're all like mini games. Each one. Cool. Um, there's a couple of repeating ones, but they get increasingly. Mini easy. games? How? Like what? What so would each, define levels? So each level is something different. Like it's not like you're progressing through like the same kind of style like of level. Joyride. Yeah, it's not it's not like that. Like it's it's different like m like mini world mini game thing. So there's like one level where you have to rescue three puppies and bring them back, which okay, is Okay, so it's like little different puzzles. Yeah. Or, and okay. there's one where you can like go down a hill and That's collect cool. coins and kill skeletons. The game is like exploding. Like yeah. it's top on the app store. It's like a I don't have anything I really week. I don't have anything bad to say about it, really. It looks I amazing. Mean, yeah. It looks really good. Um, I haven't tried it yet. So. The only thing is that it's a really big game. It's oh, like size wise, it's really big, so it takes a I while to download. Too. Which is kind of annoying, but whatever. It happens once and then you have the game forever. And it's Yeah. It's uh, there's been an update since it came out, I think one. Uh, I'm not sure what the update addressed, but okay. uh, but yeah, no, I have no complaints at all about it. And it was it. what? It was It's Two? Two nine nine. Yeah, yeah it's two nine nine, which is a little more than what I normally. Do you pay see for yourself game. playing it from beginning to end? Oh, like, totally, well, yeah. definitely. Yeah, I've, I've been playing it like worth nonstop. Three bucks. Totally, absolutely worth three bucks. Worth a super small mocha frappa, skinny latte. <laughs> You're such a hipster. <laughs> it's worth it. Uh, but yeah, no, totally worth it. You should go check it out. Um, sweet. Yeah. Sweet, sweet. So there you have it. Plants for no. Pizza's smashing zombies. You are pizza blasphemous zombies. this week. Holy man. It's called pizza versus skeletons. Versus skeletons, not zombies. But they're zombie skeletons. Nope, they're just skeletons. They're mostly skeletons. And how do they raise from the dead? Because it's fucking, that's just the rules of undead. That you, you don't so then they're zombies. What? Okay, what part of like a zombie? Am I wrong? Is Am more wrong? likely to happen than raised from the dead. <laughs> raised from the dead is the definition of a zombie, is it not? 
Right, but maybe they were dead for longer skeletons. than a couple of days, and they are now a skeleton. Their flesh has been eaten away. Zombies. They're zombies. They're zombie right. skeletons. Zombies are overdone. Let's do skeletons now. Zombie skeletons. No. No, because that's just redundant. Skeletons can't raise from the dead on their own. Well, clearly they can. And if you played the game, you would know zombies. that. Anyway, are we done? We're done. So, <laughs> her game is... Pizza versus skeletons. Pizza versus skeletons. Put it in the bottom, Luca. Yeah, all Luca. Luca could put it right here, too. Phraseology and right terminology. Here, right, right here. Right here. Can you do like right, a vertical? Right here. Just this general <laughs> direction. Picture it's picture. Be spinning in the. <laughs> <laughs> just gonna be moving around and the screen. Put your put your put your light your LED light in there. Give it a lens Perfect. there. It'll be awesome. Sweet. So you get us all over the web. You get us at Twitter.com/slash/macasm, YouTube.com/slash/macasm, Blipped.tv slash macasm You get us macasm.net. We can get you at. Elbets on Twitter. Yeah, and I'm Joshua Schnell on Twitter. Uh, that's it for this week's episode. Make sure you check us out. Click the damn like button. <laughs> That's how we should end from now on. Threaten our audience.